Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Tutor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to set a custom thumbnail to a video clip in DaVinci Resolve. Let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now we're on the edit page and I'm going to reply to a question that a couple of people have asked me which is basically how to set right here a custom thumbnail if you want to have, you know, a different one from the one that you have by default. It's very simple, I'm going to share with you two methods. So first off, I'm just going to increase the size so you can see properly and here I'm just going to show you that you have three different view options. You can have metadata view which basically uh, show you the thumbnail and a couple of information about your video clip. Then you have just the thumbnail view which is the preview of of your video clip and you have uh, the list view where you have a bunch of information about your video clip but you have no visuals uh, for the time being i'm just going to go back to the thumbnail view and here i'm just going to scroll down to one clip that will be good for demonstrating so this one will be good and so here is the first way to go about it so as you can see right now i can scroll through the clip and it give me a preview of uh, how the clip looks like and basically when you're scrolling through and you choose to have like uh, you know a frame that you like and that you would like to set as a thumbnail you can just it right here from the bottom or from the top but basically keeping the cursor at the same spot where you like the frame and it's just gonna basically save that frame as the default one for the time being uh, but if you you know exit from the left side or the right side you will basically get the last uh, frame or the first frame and not the one that you choose so just basically once you're happy with the frame you can just go exit from the bottom or from the top by basically staying on the same line where the frame that you like hits. I hope this is clear, it's very simple, but basically the problem with that is that if now we go back to the clip and uh, you know you check it again and you're exiting from there, it set a new uh, frame. So to set the frame as a default thumbnail, to do it, we are just gonna select the frame that we want and then you can just right click on the clip and you can just go down right here and set poster frame and it will just basically now set this frame as a default one and now we can just scroll through and exit and it will always be the default thumbnail so now you can see i'm just moving around and it's always retained the same thumbnail you can always change it by selecting another frame again and doing the exact same process and it will just update the thumbnail. And what if you want to uh, reset and have the first uh, possibility that I show you in this video, you can just right click on it and here clear poster frame and it's just gonna uh, remove this default uh, frame. And now you can just go back to the uh, first method where you can just every time you scroll through, uh, set up the new thumbnail. I hope this is clear. The concept is very, very simple and, you know, there is nothing hard in it, but it's a bit tricky to explain somehow. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Leave in the comment if you have any question and I'll make a video about it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.